The first thing you notice when you see Harvey Specter is his undeniable immense self-confidence. He thinks fast on his feet, always has a witty remark up his sleeve, and he always gets what he wants from others. Today, I'm gonna break his character down and show you what exactly makes him so confident so that you can gain the Harvey Specter confidence yourself. You would think that people like Harvey were born confident, yet here's the truth. Confidence is all about self-image, how you see yourself. And since Harvey Specter sees himself as better than everyone else, He's confident around anyone, his clients, women, his boss, his colleagues. He believes he's higher status than any of them. And while that may sound as arrogant, seeing yourself as higher or at least as equal status as a person you're talking to is the key to confidence. Now look at a video in which Harvey is talking with a manager at the trading firm that he's working with and notice exactly who he describes himself as. Just because I don't have a fancy degree doesn't mean you get to come into my house and order me around. And you go wind to Morello, and I'll knock you on your ass with the bush you are. Well, Sam, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I've been working for your boss, Dean Morello, for a very long time. And um, let me tell you something. You try to stonewall me, you'll be out on the street in less than a week. As for the other stuff, do I think that I'm smarter than you? You're damn right I do. But if you think that means that I can't kick your ass up and down this floor, take a swing and see what happens. I didn't think so. Just by looking at this short clip, you can see exactly what backs Harvey's confidence. He sees himself as superior in every department to the guy he's talking with. And he straight up tells him that. There's no doubt, no insecurity, and definitely no shame. Harvey says what he thinks about himself and he doesn't care if the guy's gonna like it or not. You see, how you see yourself is how other people will see you. So if you see yourself as the higher status successful guy, other people will see you that way too. So you can apply the same logic to girls as well. If you're a guy and you think that hot girls are out of your league for whatever reason, then the next time you're in a bar and you're talking with that hot girl, you're gonna start feeling uncomfortable and she will notice that. The reason why that happens is because you let her hotness influence your perception of her and you give her more value than you should. Listen to me, whether you're confident around a person depends only on the fact if you see yourself as higher status than that person. So to act confident around those hot girls, you need to accept the fact that her looks have nothing to do with you. If you're higher status, which you will be, you're going to act that way around any girl, regardless of her looks. Another key to unlocking Harvey Specter's confidence are his high standards. You see, if you ever watched Suits, you've probably noticed that Harvey doesn't simply want to win the case. He expects to win it. I'm not dropping my suit when you're going public in two days. James, you've read all about Hessington Oil. The odds were stacked against me. I won anyway, because I win. You won because Edward Darby came forward. You got lucky. Guys like you always think other people get lucky. I don't get lucky. I make my own luck. Those high standards are also applicable to girls. You see, when you go out with a girl, you should replace hoping that she likes you with expecting that she does. And from the first moment you talk to a girl, you can start being playful with her, assuming she is already attracted to you. The third reason why Harvey is always so confident is that he always comes prepared. Before he walks into a meeting, he always does a background check on the person he's meeting and the firm that person is representing. He learns their strengths, their weaknesses, so that he can use those in the moment and make the person comply to his will. You caught him rifling through some files in lieu of calling the police, you want me to pay you off? I never said that. He did. Well, that's great. This way, if I level a charge of extortion, it's hearsay, huh? Ten years working for a law firm, you learn a thing or two. Which is good, because you sure as hell don't make a lot of money doing it. Somehow I think you're getting by fine. Just say I know the level you guys play at. Espionage happens all the time, which is why I know you'll do anything to protect your secrets. Well, actually, Joe Spina of 2561 Clover Lane, Astoria, Queens, I think we all would. Like those tax returns you filed jointly for the last six years while no longer living with your wife. You know, the IRS can destroy you for that. 
You think you're the first person to try to extort me, Joe? Because that's the level I play at. Now, you're a security guard, likes to take risks. I like that. So here's what we're gonna do. This here's a generous donation to Joey Jr.'s Little League team. Now, if it gets to them, it gets to them. If it doesn't, it doesn't. The next time we talk, it's gonna be me who wants a favor. Understanding people you're talking with is the key to confidence because when you know you have a couple of tricks up your sleeve that can make the person comply any moment, it's easy to be so confident and cocky as Harvey is. So the next time you have a business meeting, you have to make sure you do your homework on the person sitting across the table because the more information you have in him and the more you can know what to expect, the more confident you can be. Next, Harvey uses physical appearance and his body language to make himself higher status, which in turn boosts his self-confidence. Immediately in the first episode of Suits, Harvey gave out a major clue to gaining his status and confidence to Mike. That. That's my suit guy. Go in, tell him I sent you, and spend some money. What does it matter how much money I spent on suits? People respond to how we're dressed, so like it or not, this is what you have to do. And in addition to him constantly wearing suits, he also uses body language positioning to create the perception of his confidence. In this video, I wanted to pay attention to A, what exactly he does when speaking to this woman and how it gives him the power in her eyes, and B, how he walks out of that meeting with a client and where he looks as he's walking. And let someone else decide how much I'm allowed to keep. Then what'd you come to me for? Because you're supposed to be the best. I am the best. And I didn't get that way, letting someone else call the shots. So you're either gonna let me do that or you're gonna get yourself another lawyer. In this video, his body positioning gives him the upper hand. The power is on his side. Just look at your screen. Do you see how the woman is framed? She's looking up to him and she's framed as submissive. And the most people you talk with are going to accept the frame if you use the right body language and tonality. All right, here's what I need you to do. You can tell me what you need me to do in a minute. First, we're going to talk about what happened back there. What happened is I lay down the law, she accepted, I'm the man. Yep. Uh. Even if you don't hear the words, just looking at Harvey's body language, you can see that he's full of himself. He's just a little bit cocky. Now, I want you to remember a few things about Harvey's body language that boosts his confidence. He stands up straight with shoulders back. He holds strong eye contact. He never fidgets, and that shows just how high status he is. Even when he is sitting in his chair, you can see how self-confident and high status he is because he's clearly comfortable and he'll sit however he pleases. Now, most of the time, he talks with a smirk on his face, which gives away both his arrogance and his charm. Now, whenever you enter a meeting or you're on a date, be aware of your body posture. Hold your shoulders back, keep your head up, and walk slow. Because by keeping that body language posture and walking slowly, you're going to seem more confident. And the last but not least, he always thinks outside of the box. He's a very logical and strategic thinker. And while the other 99% of people would all do the same thing, Harvey is not like that. He thinks like that top 1%. What then? I told you that I did not have a choice. Oh, because he had a gun to your head. Yes. And what are your choices if someone puts a gun to your head? What are you talking about? You do what they say or they shoot you. Wrong. You take the gun or you pull out a bigger one or you call their bluff or you do any one of 146 other things. If you can't think for yourself, maybe you aren't cut out for this. This is what I want from you, Jim. I want you to be like that top 1% of guys out there who think outside of the box and who never do what other people do. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and get the newest video breakdowns as soon as they are released. Now, if you want to get into my Attraction Triggers free training while it's still available, click the download button in the lower left corner, enter your email, and I'll send you the free logins.